when I first started coming out of the Freedom Arts, I was seven. My first thought was like, who are these Caucasian people? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm just not used to being out the house much. So one day I was at church and the close friend Evie was doing like a class and Andrew came and it was just like, it was an automatic click, but I didn't know how it was gonna go from there. When I first started Freedom Arts, I didn't really recognize this, but now that I'm older, I see that there are many different cultures and skin colors within the Freedom Arts family, and it's from the range of Filipino, Sicilian, and Jamaican, and all these other different places coming into one building. I was nervous, I didn't know anybody, so for my family, and I just had to roll with it. School is easy for me, so I come to Freedom Arts to learn more. And it helped me with my art, music, and my activities. In Freedom Arts, it's a safe place to bond, to get to know people, new people, old people, and to do homework, play games, and just overall chill. Through Freedom Arts, I've been able to get a lot of good opportunities. One of them is this job I have in the community garden, which is awesome. I get like to learn new things every day. It just opened up doors. I'm getting paid in legal ways to do things I learn from. Growing up, I felt that I need to talk to other black women in Vanigia, Patia, Alexis, um, Shay. Those are some big influencers in my life right now because not only that they teach me how to be an independent, strong black woman, I would really like to see myself accomplish goals that I have set for myself. So basically, I got into some trouble at school and I had to like go down to this juvenile detention center because I could have possibly like spent time in the juvenile hall or prison like for that. I was nervous like all through that day and I get there and I see Andrew Miles and Tia just like there squatted up and stuff but I was still a little nervous until like the man he came in and told me like this is like you're very fortunate to have all these people in your corner because a lot of kids we work with don't have this but when he said this like it opened up my eyes more because that situation really put me in a predicament where I was like what do I do now? Um, where is it gonna go from here? And I'm just all around nervous. Um, the picture that you showed me when I was three and we were drumming on buckets. And I remember after that, we started drumming. I had a lot of anger when I was younger. So Andrew would like always pull me to the side and just put me in front of some drums, which was really cool because from there, I'm now a skilled drummer. With all the divides in my life, Freedom Arts is like the glue because I have a lot of different things that's going on in my life and I just know the one consistent thing would be Freedom Arts. What I know about God, that he's really helpful and he sacrificed his life for people. Wow, I need to like open my eyes up to see all the possible outcomes and know that like this world's not for me but if i talk to god and like surround myself with loving people i know that they are for me and they're gonna help me do whatever i can to make sure my story is solid and make sure i'm leaving with a good rep my name is krista tyshawn charles and i am freedom arts i am freedom arts i am freedom arts